got allergies and I also decided I'm going to start vlogging again right now because why not because I look good <laughs> also because I just found um, a tripod that I'm using <laughs> right now so why not test it out and okay this phone is giving a good image what i'm doing right now i am going through things organizing and cleaning things um this is my new apartment and yeah right now i'm on the electronics and so i found that uh, tripod so yeah just making piles and doing things yeah actually i'm pretty proud of myself come pretty far today this desk was piled like this high with stuff and it was all full but i finally got it down to actual you know like office type stuff that would be here and then just going through the electronic pile of doom i guess while we're at it here's a little tour of the apartamento if that's how you say it and um i'm not sure if i'm supposed to be looking at my eyes probably at probably at the camera that's the camera yeah so technically it's a studio apartment let me come from as if i came in the front door hello welcome to my crib now i'm going to turn it around ding dong oh hello there welcome come on in and here is the washer and dryer things um this place was built i believe or opened up in 2016 so the appliances are pretty new and efficient compared to older ones so this is a closet with things <laughs> nice refrigerator we got recycle pile going trash that was takeout food and stuff needs to go down got my big bin of cloths i've just been collecting for a few years so i don't really need to use paper towels as much i made some delicious cookies yum. Yum, yum, yum. mingo you want cookies my cat mingo mingo Here's your debut. You want a cookie? Aww. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're so cute. I just want you to be the tour. Show them around. Go ahead. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. There's the sink. Thanks, Mingo. <laughs> this is um a living room type space in my office. And I don't have any furniture, which is totally fine. Yeah, I just have some stuff there and at least you know, in the recycle. Kind of need to like figure out a way to clean that stuff. These are all things that can go on the wall or be decorations, but you know, don't know what's going where, so I don't know where to put it. And come over here is my pet corner <laughs> for now. Pretty ratchet. Um, I'm waiting on my pretty litter, like. They don't sponsor this i have zero sponsors zero followers zero likes zero hope oh my gosh um no but for real I, there's a different cat litter that looks so much better than this but sufficing let's see here um plant corner haven't touched them since i moved in just some of them chill here this one please I don't know how to fix it. Or this one. And they were my best plants. Succulents, pretty resilient, so hopefully they're doing fine. This plant is awesome. All of these green, bright green ones. They, I swear it sprouts like every single day. And oh my gosh. Look how huge this one is. And I got this from like a grocery store, which I know isn't like the best or sustainable, but I did and it's thriving. Right, Mingo? Yeah. Sitting corner. <laughs> Which is where I've been eating, chilling, just enjoying the city. City girl, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, show you the desk. Oh, this is my little bookshelf, figuring out. Um, the poster will probably move, but you know, just gonna put up my graduation cards again. I grad, grad, finished classes, graduated, and 
2020, but walking in a few weeks. And yeah, I'm just like kind of keep stuff here, family, things from places. Yeah, it's work in progress. Room area. Um, let me see. This is all I'm just seeing here. It's my bed and a lamp and my other cat. And I turned on the light at my bathroom. This did look nicer, but some stuff on that messy desk had to come over here. So it will have a place. There's my hairdo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, I was proud. This looked like, okay. If this was on there a little nicer, I was like, okay, that looks nice. Like, all this was cleared out, but it's okay. We'll find a place for it. Clean everything up a bit. But it's a really big bathroom, I think. Really nice size. And there you have it. And you walk in right there, and there's a washer dryer. And here's my bed. Yeah, it's my air filter over there. And that's my room. Skirt, skirt. So there's my room tour. Technically this is classified as a studio. I think because there's no door, but it really feels like a one bedroom since this is closed off behind it this way. So far living downtown has been a positive experience and it's wild because a year ago, and I guess that's, was like COVID. So maybe more like a year and a half ago to two years when graduation was coming up and I was like, oh, what if I like get a full-time job here? What can, where, what I want to live and stuff. I like never wanted to live down here or in the specific area downtown I am. It didn't, you know, I was like, oh, mm -mm. it's like nothing there, uh, dirty, like loud, all this stuff. And I was wrong about things. And it's interesting because when I left, like when I moved back home after under, grad i really wanted quiet because i missed out a lot like there's a lot of commotion with all the roommates um i had so it was nice to be home with the quiet and i was kind of nervous that living downtown would kind of bring me back to that just like want of quiet and stuff but it's actually nice it's like brown noise in the in the background it's not too busy um oh yeah it's nice i think it keeps my mind on something subconsciously and other misconceptions misconceptions proved wrong it's pretty clean down here i think especially for the city that this is its population and other um similar cities i think it's pretty clean so close to like everything downtown if you're willing to if you're able and willing to walk um a mile or a little bit more or less and that's another thing i'm so close to places like within blo within block within minutes like convenience stores pharmacies there's a grocery stores uh shipping services gyms if i wanted it like restaurants delis like i don't know just so much stuff and then again if you're able and willing to walk a little bit farther you can get to it other places in downtown like little italy seaport village so many places <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what i've learned living down here it's cleaner than i thought it's not as um distracting as i thought it's very nice to know i can pretty much walk to things that i need and go out and get a breath of fresh air and just i don't know it's so nice by the water the weather the weather the weather is pretty uh like mild right by the water and i don't i feel safe i don't think and i'm not saying that like oh like look at me i feel safe so all the other women out there should or people valid if you don't feel safe the way I have experienced it living here is I don't feel any more any more unsafe than I would anywhere else as a black woman. So, you know, I feel like the only safe place I feel usually is 
either my fa family's home or here so i don't know I, and more ser like more like concrete reasons why is because um there's like people out and about returning from work very late at night so if you just want to get out there i'm you know i've seen people when i've gone out but i also st stay on the main streets so learning which streets stay the busiest which streets have the most sort of like things open on them later at night and yeah i pass by people um staying on the brighter the, it's like brighter lit down here than i thought it would be it, I, I was walking home last night i don't know probably out past midnight and the streets were brighter than the stsu campus like in a lot of areas so um it's brighter and always of course stay diligent um always aware of your surroundings day and night and you know i just carry my pepper spray with me that's something i haven't done diligently ever so i'm doing that now and yeah i but i'm just saying um right now i don't feel any more like threatened and i feel like that might be the vibe you get if you listen to the people who like come down here expecting there to be like no houseless pro houseless problem homelessness problem you know like oh there's those dirty people down there and man it smells bad and all over the streets and can't walk anywhere without someone trying to fucking steal your money or something no great experiences with people so far especially the people who are seem to be living out on the streets i don't know if living is the right word but um surviving and living the best they can hopefully um so <laughs> yes this was a little apartment tour. so you get to see it like this and as weeks go on it will get better it will get better mm -mm -mm. so yeah that's exciting and this gives me a vlog, I guess. I'm excited. I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. Mexico a Puerto Vallarta. Entonces, estoy muy feliz y um, excited. Excitimento. I don't know. Maybe that'll be a part of the video. Maybe not. I guess. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Anything about what you want to know. Do not to see. You can chat in a little, little chatty box uh, about San Diego. Just life. Any questions you have about school um, or my cat Mingo. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching.